Hello and welcome back. So let's see how to display errors on here in case we uh, have any errors to see. So to start with, um, if I go to the controller, the sign up controller here, we can see that we have this variable errors. So if there are any errors, it's going to contain some information. So all we need to do is check in the sign up page to see if we have any errors and try to display them. So we'll go to oath and sign up view. So I want to see if there are any errors for the username thing here. Now the way these things are, uh, let's see here. Okay, so I can add something right in here. I will use the small tag so that the text is a bit smaller. And I will ask the question. So I'll put PHP tags here and put if not empty. So I want to check if there is an error for uh, which one is this username. So say if not empty um, username. Uh, let me put a open and close bracket right there. And then close uh, the tags like so. So if not empty, then I want to echo it. So I'm just going to copy this and then say uh, echo. Hmm. Actually, what we can do is what I can do is put this above. So let me put this right above this. And then I can put a full column there instead. So that we echo the whole thing only when we need to. And I'll say, and if. Okay, so if this is set, then let's echo it. So I'm going to be here and put uh, opening tag like so, and then close that. Okay, simple and straightforward. So let's see if this is happening. But before we do that, I want to add a few classes here. So I'm going to say text uh, danger so that the text color is red. Okay, so let me click sign up. And as you can see here, immediately it shows username is required. But I want to make this more obvious. So what I'll do is I want the control as well to change color to a border red. So let's see what we can do about that. We can do a similar thing here. Let's just put a uh, let me go to classes here. So in the class of here where it says form control, because that's the class of the form itself, I can say border. Um, so border danger like this. Let's see what that class will do. So if I refresh the page, resend, and as you can see, it has a red border there, which is rather nice. But we only want to show it when there's an error for this specific thing. So what I'll do is I'll do PHP tag echo. And we need an if statement here. So the if statement is going to be not empty uh, for this one. So copy and let's put that if statement there. So if not empty errors that that then we can put a question mark and then echo out the border danger and then put a full colon and put empty string and then close that. Okay, so now if I refresh without any errors, it goes back to normal. But if I sign up, then it shows that. So all we need to do now is put this on every other um, item here. So I will copy this from here uh, up to there. So every form control here should have this. So this and password here, paste. Just change what this one is. Let's see, email and then password here. 
Okay, so we'll do the same for password retype in case there's anything there as well. So password retype. Okay, and then similarly, we'll get this for the text. Copy, put this one here. Change that to email. And uh, similarly for password. I doubt we're going to have any password retype errors, but let me put that there. Password retype. Okay, so coming back to the functions, uh, that's core functions, where we are doing the validation. So where passwords do not match this one should go to password retype i think that's more appropriate okay okay so let's try sign up and see all the errors so password and then we have password is required so the issue here is that this is an input group so which means everything in here will be set to be inline so whether I add a break tag here even, like so, it will not move the password error to the next line. See, it remains the same because everything is displayed as, um, it's displayed as um, flexed. That's the word I was looking for. So maybe let's try here and do a row let's create a row on this one let's see if that works no, it doesn't let's try giving it a column but uh, 12 that way it's full size let's see if that works okay so that actually does work which is good and uh, similarly let's try and put something here so we can see a password retype error and there we go passwords do not match so let's do a similar thing. Um, what do we do here? Uh, column 12. Yes. Copy. Text danger and paste. So try again and type something. And there we go. Okay. So passwords do not match. Good. The only problem here is we, we have these errors. So let, let me try and just add some text so that we can see that where text is valid, we don't see the error anymore, like there. But we are not retaining the values here, which is another problem. So let's try and solve that one. But before we do, um, there is no error here anymore, which is fine. Okay, that's actually good. So let's see how we can retain the values uh, in these, this section here. So we'll create a function real quick here. I'm going to go to functions.php. So let's say function, um, let me just make sure I haven't created this yet. So I haven't, okay. So we're going to call it uh, set value like that. And then we will put the key here and then a default value in case we need it to we'll set that to empty but for now we just deal with the key so we're going to say if not empty we're looking in the post variable so if not empty post key whatever that key is we are given uh, if it's not empty, then let's return it. So we'll say return key. Otherwise, we return the default value like so. Okay, pretty uh, straightforward. So I will get set value and put it on, let's try this on username and we put value there, so value is equal to uh, we use php tags set value 
close like that and then let's put the key here so we set value for username like so okay that way we can retain the username so if i refresh oh sorry uh this added a bracket by design so refresh reset and there we go so my name let's try that oops what am i returning here oh i'm not supposed to return the key but the value of the key so like this so let's try again refresh resend okay so my name is there let's do the same for email and uh, every other one so copy this let me put this on the input change that to email do the same for password password and uh, same for password retype password retype okay so um, let me try email sign up and that's working okay so see you in the next video where we continue